Hello, this is Henk Frisser from the Netherlands. Motion graphics, would that be possible in Character Animator? Well, I've been exploring some possibilities in the past few weeks and came up with uh, some amazing results uh, showing endless variations. So I would suggest not to talk much longer and just get started with a little tutorial. For what you just saw, you first need to build a sequence. Um, I usually use 25 frames for that, but uh, for this tutorial I use only 10 frames to make it a bit easier. Create a square canvas of uh, let's say 500 to 500 uh, pixels. Pick uh, any brush, I did the scattered butterflies here. Create your first layer. And then start drawing in the lower left corner. After that you copy that layer, so you don't create a new layer, to proceed with the content. I do a line of butterflies here, but you can imagine you can draw in anything you like. As you can see, I copy every next frame here and then add content to it. It's obvious that you can create any amount of layer you like, as long as you start in uh, the lower left corner and end in the upper right. <laughs> this always happens to me that I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Then I add empty layers instead of uh, copies of the previous layers. Okay, the last few layers and then we have about 10 different layers. We don't need the background uh, layer anymore. And I always rename the layers, it's not necessary, but well, you know, I'm used to it, so I do it. Okay, so here's the 10 frame build up layer. So now I select them all and group them. And I duplicate uh, the groups a number of times, as long as it uh, makes it possible to divide 360 degrees in equal parts. So now it's time to expand the canvas to um, prepare for the next step. 1500 will do here. Add some guides to keep the center in the picture. And then uh, select them all and move them to the upper right. Now we select the first group and keep it in place, but uh, the pivot will be 
move to the center. We do the same with the pivot of the second and rotate it 60 degrees, which is 360 divided by the number of layers. And we proceed the same method with the other layers until the full circle is done. So first the pivot and then the rotation. Again we uh, select all layers and place them in a new group, the main group. And we call it star or whatever. And finally I place a plus sign in front of the subgroups so they will be independent in character animator. So that's it as far as uh, it concerns the preparation for the sequences. And it can now be saved as a layer PSD. Let's go to part 2. Ok, let's jump into a character animator. Create a new project, tutorial will do. Now we import the PSD we just made. Tutorial star. There it is. Right. Okay, let's clean it up a bit and uh, select the behaviors I want to use. And normally I remove all behaviors first and then I choose all the ones I like to use this time. Face, motion lines, physics, transform and triggers. Now I select the main layer and I take it face and frontal. Open the scene uh, to see what it does. Uh, looks okay. Now it's time to select the groups and place the pivot to the center and add a dangle to the top. Most of the time, in addition, I also add a motion lines tag to this. Number two. Angle motion lines. Number three, four, five, and six, of course. Now we check the result and we see it looks a bit like a plant that needs water. So we have to do something about uh, gravity and put the strength to zero. 
and there's one branch that looks a bit broken so there must be something wrong there oh yes there's one dangle too many Okay, it's looking nice and organic now. And as you can see, I was able to move it with my head. So let's go on to the next step. So now I put a cycle layer to all the subgroups and uh, set the parameters as follows. The bottom to top is because the sequence was built up like that. An easy way is uh, to define one uh, cycle behavior for one group and then copy and paste it to the other groups. And we need a trigger to start uh, the cycle layer, so we add all the groups to it. When you check it now, nothing happens. And uh, that is because you first have to fire the trigger to reveal it. And another thing is, uh, the layer has to be armed, so you must see the red dot. Okay, uh, you can now set all the parameters the way you want them and build uh, tons of varieties with this concept. So selecting uh, other backgrounds or uh, change the blending mode of the, the main layer. Uh, can change can make a lot of changes and uh, you can also play around with the motion lines you can make as many duplicates as you like as long as they are armed they will be in your stage so now the puppet looks a bit dark and that's because we have two layers with a different blending so when I transform them uh, when I rotate them you get this effect and this is only one of the million possibilities. Some examples. I made some different uh, puppets. Here you can see uh, five layers that interact. A target of uh, six segments uh, with a different blending. And this one is interesting because I nested the explosion in the cycle layers of uh, the main groups and gave them their own cycle layer. Well, as you can see, there's a lot to do in uh, character animator with uh, motion graphics. Um, I hope this tutorial has been clear to you and that you could follow it enough to build some things yourself. Uh, I'm very curious about what you are making, so place it here in the community. Maybe you've seen some of Dave's last uh, messages. Uh, there's a lot to do in the beta. There will be a leader follower and that will enrich the possibilities of a MoGraph in, uh, in Character Animator as well, I think. So this was it for now. Um, speaking English for me is still very difficult, but I've done my best and I hope you like this tutorial.